Vesta was a planned multiple asteroid flyby mission that the Soviet Union assessed in the 1980s. The Vesta mission would have consisted of two identical probes just like earlier Soviet Venus missions, to be launched in 1991. Similar to the Vega program, each spacecraft would deploy one or more landers or balloons into the Venusian atmosphere, and then proceed to its next target. At Venus, a French satellite dedicated to asteroid flybys would be released. It would return for an Earth gravity assist, and then reach about 3 to 3.3 aus from the Sun. There they would fly by some smaller asteroids, and Vesta, if possible, with a small probe landing there. The exact targets would depend on the launch date. In the initial 1985 study, 2,700 possible trajectories were analyzed for a launch date in 1991–1992. Considering all constraints, about 12 candidate trajectories were selected. The two identical spacecraft could have different trajectories and targets. These included 5 Astraea, 53 Calypso, 187 Lamberta, 453 T, 1335 De Moulina and 1858 Lobachevskij, and Comet Inc. Vesta spacecraft design Around 1985 Vesta was changed to be a Mars mission, with the asteroid mission unchanged. Detailed plans called for each probe to visit four small bodies, including asteroids belonging to different classes, providing a representative sample of the diversity of asteroids, and probably one or two comets as well. Visiting at least one Apollo Amor Earth nearing asteroid was also given a preference. Preliminary studies called for at least the following scientific instruments to be included: a wide-angle camera, approximately 6.5 degrees field of view, 512 by 512 pixel CCD; a narrow-angle camera, approximately 0.5 degrees field of view, 512 by 512 pixel CCD, 3.9 arcsec pixel. A near infrared spectrometer measuring between 0.5 to 5 micrometers with lambda delta lambda equals 50 5 arcminutes per pixel possible further instrumentation UV spectrometer for imaging during a comet flyby radar altimeter radiometer a dust detector ion or neutral gas detector on board memory would be about 240 m bits Images at closest approach, approximately 500 kilometers, could have a resolution of 10 meters pixel. Worst case downlink rate is 600 bit per second if not using deep space network DSN. The scientific payload is about 100 kg. The spacecraft had 750 kg dry mass and carried 750 kg propellants and possibly a 500 kg penetrator. 20 square meters of solar panels provided 350 watts of power. If DSN support could have been obtained, Doppler tracking of the Vesta spacecraft's movement could accurately determine the mass of the encountered bodies. Should it not, another possibility was considered releasing a test mass and observing its movement near the target asteroid. The spacecraft's structure was derived from telecommunication satellites in Marsat, having the required mass, volume, and delta-v capabilities three axes stabilized, with a pointing platform with two axes of freedom for scientific instruments. Trajectory The Mars gravity assist constrain the possible trajectories. The asteroid penetrator also imposes limits on the speed of the approach of the target asteroid less than 4 km per second. Nevertheless, three possible trajectories were designed, with two Mars gravity assists. A single Mars swing by is also possible, but the double gravity assist increases the mass budget of the spacecraft by 30%, at the cost of an additional 1.8 year in travel time to the asteroid belt. The following trajectories are for the 1994 launch window. The size and type of each asteroid is also shown here. Trajectory 1, launch from Earth Mars Gravity Assist flyby of 2335 James, a 10 km by type asteroid, an Amor asteroid, Mars Gravity Assist 109 Felicitas, C type 76 km, 739 Mandeville EMP type, 110 km, 4 Vesta V type or Vestoid. Has a diameter of 570 km flyby with 3.5 km per second. 
A penetrator is released, total delta V, 450 m per second trajectory 2, launch from Earth-Mars gravity assist flyby of the 157P, Triton short period comet Mars gravity assist 2087 Cochera 30 km, 1 series flyby and releasing a penetrator total delta V, 1150 m per second trajectory 3, launch from Earth-Mars gravity assist 1204 Renzia 10 km, an Amor asteroid Mars gravity assist 435 Ella U type 30 kilometers 46 Hestia F type 165 kilometers 135 Hertha M type 80 kilometers total delta V 350 meters per second in other studies 11 Parthenope 19 Fortuna and 20 Massalia were also considered Topic cancellation A combination of factors, probably including changing Franco-Soviet relations, the partial failure of the Phobos mission, financial troubles and the disbanding of the Soviet Union, prevented the project from advancing beyond the planning phase. <laughs> 